In today's video, you are going to learn how to animate 3D text around an object using advanced 3D options in After Effects. Plus, I'll share some secret tips and tricks to help you level up your motion graphics game with me. But before we jump in, if you're interested in mastering motion graphics, check out my Patreon. You'll get all my paid templates, free project files from these tutorials, custom scripts, and even premium members only videos. All links are in the description below. Don't miss out if you want to create like a pro. All right, no more waiting. Let's get started and dive into this tutorial. Let's create a new composition first. This will be full HD resolution. Then I am going to import a 3D model, which you can download from the link in the description below for practice. After importing, simply add it to our timeline. Once you add it, you will see this box. You just need to click on Make Comp Size, so it will resize as your comp. Then click OK. After that, I am going to rotate this model and also change its position as needed. Then, I add a keyframe on Z rotation and adjust its rotation. Next, I go to the last frame and change the Z rotation once again. This gives us a subtle rotation. If your preview is slow, find this option called Draft 3D and simply turn it on. Now you can work faster and see faster previews. Once you finish your editing, you can turn this off to see the final render quality. After that, I select the text tool and add some random text. Then I select the ellipse tool and create a mask on this text. Let me change the color of the mask so you can see it better. Next, open Text Properties. Under this, you will find Path Options. Open it and change the path from None to Mask 1. This way, our text wraps around the mask and it will look like this. Next, I am going to make it 3D. At this point, I want to show you that you should make sure your 3D renderer is set as Advanced 3D. Next, click on this button and enable the Per Character 3D option. Then click once again, and this time, add rotation. Change X rotation to 90 degrees, so the text looks like this. Close this and go to the layer's Transform Properties. Here, change X rotation to around negative 65 degrees to get this look. After that, go to Path Options and find Last Margin. Place the time indicator at the first frame and add a keyframe. Then go to the last frame and change the margin value. This will give you a subtle rotation look. After that, I am going to adjust the position of the text and the model. At this point, I want to show you that this is actual 3D, not fake 3D. The text actually wraps around this model. This means you can add a camera and create cinematic scenes if you wish. Let's move forward and make the text thicker. To do this, open Text Properties and then open Geometry Options. Increase the extrusion depth to increase thickness. Let me change the color to red. After that, open Material Properties and change Metal to 35%. Change Specular Shininess to 70 to get this look. Then close this layer. And now I'm going to add a new light. This is going to be an environment light. Set intensity to 150 and make sure cast shadow is turned on. Now the environment light is active. Go to transform properties so you can find X and Y rotation values. Each one controls the light direction. However, this will slow down the preview, so I turn on Draft 3D option. And now we can easily adjust the light rotation. After that, I am going to add one more light, but this time I am going to add a point light. 
I set the color to something warm, this gives an additional light source to enhance the look. For example, you can create cinematic lighting using a point light. Once the point light is set, I will animate its position so it gives a dramatic feel. I also animate the environment rotation as well to match the overall lighting setup. And that's how you can create 3D text around an object in After Effects.